Hi, my name is Tom Prowse and I'm a Data School Consultant at the Information Lab. This session is going to be all based around the Union tool and how to deal with any mismatch fields that might occur. As you can see, I've got various inputs within my Tableau Prep workflow. The first one here is sales related. So as you can see, we have product, period, the quantity sold and the income from each of those products. We've also got a target file. This has a similar structure with product, period, quantity target and income target. Therefore, as they have a similar structure, we can union these together to combine both of the tables. When we union, this basically means stack each of the top tables on top of each other. Um, so if I drag the target field onto the sales, onto the union, notice how the box changes color when it's accepted. I can drop and then a union field is created. Now, as you can see, some of the fields here have matched up uh, perfectly. So somebody prep matches this on name. So we've got the product, we're from both sides of the table have and the period have both lined up correctly. However, moving down into the left hand corner, we have some mismatch fields. So the quantity income doesn't quite equal quantity target and income target. So notice how there's some nulls within our data. Now we know that quantity and quantity target are the same field. Therefore, we want to combine these and merge them both together. Now this is really easy to do within the union. So all I have to do is click on quantity and then notice how Tableau Prep automatically highlights a suggested, um, suggested field for us. So we probably want to join this with or match this up with our quantity target. Therefore, we can just press on the plus and notice how they've now combined. So we've got our quantity from both our tables, which are identified by the colors here. Now we can do the same for income as well. So choose income, press the plus, and now this has combined our table. So then we don't have any nulls. And as you can see, we have our targets this year and last year, all within the same table. We also have our table names so we can identify which tables and which uh, data sources the each of the fields are from. Sometimes we have some data which matches up and we don't quite want it to. So this is our second example. We have some countries and cities from Europe and also some countries and cities or states from the US. However, this has been named wrongly. So when we union them together, notice how there's no mismatch fields, but this within city combines the city from Europe and also the state from the US. So we kind of don't want this, we want to split them out. So we can do this quite easily. Um, so just clear, if I just move this up, Click on the three dots where we want to split the field. And then there's an option to separate a line field. Now we can choose either one of these. So if we choose the US, notice how city has now been split into two fields. So we've got a city here and then we've also got our states. So all we can do is double click, rename, and now we have our data split out into the correct city and states field. Again, we've got the tables na table names to combine these and to identify which table each of the rows are from. And that's how you can use the union tool to work with some mismatched data and then uh, change these options to make your data work for you. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and take a look at the related videos on screen now.